This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, everyone's always talking about the next verses, and one verses they always talk about is Birdman verse Master P in a versus. Uh, that would be a good one, okay? Uh, you could see this going on, but uh, I don't know if it'll ever happen because even though they talk highly of each other, they have a lot of history. We haven't really seen them come back together. They say they say they talk from time to time, but they don't really like hang out with each other. I, you know, they they talk about the past, like you know, they we didn't see eye to eye for most of our younger years. Master P, um, Master P had a, a business model that probably wouldn't work today where he was dropping like it seemed like every week <laughs> he had a new artist dropping something he was flooding the game he had a deal with universal or no priority then he went to universal so with priority he had no limit records but when he switched to universal and this is a this is a huge thing to look at master p is still successful today he has you know the rap snacks he has rice he has you know he's He's learned from his past. But in music, um, he ended up losing his masters. Uh, he was brought to court by like Beats by the Pound, who's like, that was like the Manny Fresh and No Limit. Um, he was brought to court by uh, other members of No Limit later on. He actually went to like bankruptcy court. He had to change the name to New No Limit and, and go with Universal Records because there was like, I don't know. You know, like, I don't know the total inner workings. And I remember being walked through it once by somebody and it was kind of complicated. But he had a he had a decline in success between the years of like 2000 and 2003. Things started to decline. You know, there was. Uh, let's see, there was a bunch of people brought on board around 1999, 2000. Even Currency was one of these artists. <laughs> Uh, some failed to create interest in themselves and no limit. Uh, only the artists like Currency, Little Romeo, Seymour would actually put out albums with results. Mystical's No Limit, first post No Limit record, Let's Get Ready, debuted number one. I don't know if, he, I don't think he made any money of that because he lost. He sold in 2003. The company filed for bankruptcy due to like tons of lawsuits from artists saying they didn't get paid and everything and Master P then sold his catalog Wack 100 tried to say he lost his catalog uh, to the government but he didn't yeah he had to sell it to meet certain debt obligations and he went on to do music and he had success with Little Romeo and everything but you know he, lo he, he lost uh, the No Limit brand which was very very popular and that's probably why you don't see on so much stuff right now um, this is what WAC 100 had to say about the whole thing. Um, people want this versus bad though. Because Birdman still owns all his masters. Birdman still owns his company. A lot of things is faking and pretending. Master P don't own no limit uh, master. P lost his master 17 years ago to the IRS. I don't know why that though. He ain't gonna tell our people this is a mistake I made. No. Now, Obviously, he's tied in with Birdman. He's going to side with Birdman. Um, also, his opinion is harsh, but that that is true. I mean, but you know, let's not you know, Birdman had his own money problems as well. But obviously, he probably still has a lot more money. I, I don't know who has more money. Okay, I just know that he still has his cash money brand. Um, as far as a versus, who would win? You know, I would say. I would say that that Cash Money would win pretty easily, with Lil Wayne, Tyga. You got to count Tyga because he was there from the beginning. Uh, well, not the beginning, but you know, the beginning of Young Money. Um, you got to count, you know, Drake, Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, and then all the past hits with Juvenile, Manny Fresh. <laughs> you know, uh, everybody. You know, BG, Turk. Hot Boys. Now, you know, if you just did a certain era, because, like, obviously, No Limit, it was over at a certain point. You know, they they, they didn't last as long as Cash Money lasted. Thanks to, you know, Wayne, Wayne 
is the reason why Cash Money lasted. Let's be honest, okay? Wayne. Without Wayne, Cash Money would have been done in 2004 or 5 if he had left and got, been able to go with Def Jam. But WAC 100 has his points. They're harsh points. But it's a interesting topic around a versus time where you might have a Birdman versus uh, Master P. And that would be great to see, to see them on stage together and celebrate each other like that. Um, anyways, what do you guys think? Who would win that one? Get in the comments below. Let me know. Let me know what you think. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.